everybody, a new day, a new adventure. We're going to be visiting Texas's only piece of Bureau of Land Management property today. There's no public access yet, but uh, the organizers have set up with one of the landowners to provide access today. We're out here in Mesquite country. You can see Dale is absolutely pumped. What do you think, bud? Yeah, you excited? Yeah? Is it gonna be fun? All right, we're just pulling up to the meeting spot. We're a little early. I think there's only about six or eight cars ahead of me, but uh, I'll bring you back when we start driving into this place. All right, sitting here at the uh, rally point, the uh, access gate. We've got uh, a good string of cars here. Maybe that many behind me, if you can see in the mirror. And I was making a cup of coffee and I broke the French press, which is a real bummer. So, have a little Mexican soda to start the morning off. I think we're going to start moving here any minute. I think that sign means watch for snakes. I think we're going to transition pretty soon to a dirt road. I'll bring you back. There's some uh, cows here just hanging out by the road. Moo! Pavement ends. Buddy, we're going to be eating dust with these windows down. You don't care, do you? Pretty nice dirt road as far as dirt roads go. Certainly a little windy today. Kicking up a lot of dust. Got some cows over here. What do you think about those cows, huh? The further in we go here, the worse the road gets. We just went through a gnarly section of washboards. But uh, I feel good that everything is well secured. You know, the camper's secured down good. The truck shouldn't have anything flying off of it. All right, we made it. We made it. We uh, hung out for a minute, changed clothes, let everybody clear out. Got our map here. We're currently sitting right here, and Dale and I are gonna run this loop. It's about six miles. Then I'll bring it back, we'll cook some lunch. Here we go. Nice to get out of that parking area. Now it's just me and the Dale, the open trail. Taking a pit stop here. Check out this view. That's the Canadian River down there. That's looking to the east. And this is kind of the terrain we're running in. Some beautiful trails out here so far. Oh, somebody kill me. Whew. That's a hill and a half. Good boy. Whew. And we're back. Alright, Dale and I are headed out from the main parking area. So hopefully we can find a nice spot over there to park and cook some lunch. There's something so nice about just cruising a dirt road so far from civilization. There's just very little man-made objects as far as the eye can see. There's a power transmission line over there through the scrub. But other than that, we are just out here. Right, Dale? Yeah. We made it out to this spot. We're not quite to the overlook, but this is nice and uh, underpopulated. I'm gonna pull the kitchen out and get some lunch going. Check it out. I brought a funnel. I should really be parked into the wind, but the lighting is nice here. There's a broken piece of our French press rip. It was a good French press. Boy, you're a mess. Not looking forward to cleaning this. Today we are making chicken fried rice. Really glad I got hand washing stuff. 
kicking your food all over the place. Okay, ready? We're gonna get rid of this skin. See ya. And we're gonna debone this stuff. This would have been nice to prep at home, but that would require some forward thinking for me. But I'm pretty well starved after that six mile run, so we're not trying to get every last scrap. We're just gonna quickly debone this stuff, get it diced up, get our pan heated, and get to cooking. Like a soap. And we're just going for uniform size pieces. Dale, you want some lunch, buddy? I'm starving. Nice. All right, we're going to leave that there for now. Wash your hands up a little bit. Yeah, you're a good boy. Start with an onion. I guess I'm gonna do it with this boning knife so I don't have to wash something. Boning knife! Boning knife! Let's get our pan going. This is gonna be interesting, the old walk on the camp stove. That'll do. Need to be over here though. Oh, the wind makes everything unpleasant. A little bit of oral. I keep rearranging my drawers down here. I never know where anything is. Throw this back in the cooler. Really gonna need a secondary wind block. That doesn't melt, that'll be awesome keyword if that doesn't melt. Hey boy, what you know? What you know, big guy? Give me that frisbee. This is a situation where a uh, propane burner would come in handy. I've been scheming on one. Much less affected by the wind and uh, a lot higher heat output. If you're trying to, you know, cook gourmet out, out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, really, if you're trying to cook anywhere, the, the more BTUs, the better, if you ask me. There we go. I just got to stand in the right spot. I really probably should have parked into the wind. You want a frisbee throw? You ready? Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. What's going on, guys? Living a life, buddy. <laughs> Chicken fried rice, man. There you go. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to play by the rules. I have been known to make my own at times, so. Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fun. You do YouTube deal or what? Yeah, I do a little YouTube. Check it out, man. Yeah, man, we'll follow you. Tell me you hate me. Controversy's good. <laughs> you go. You're just an idiot. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> later, guys. See you later, man. Finally got a little sizzle action going. So uh, go ahead and throw this chicken in, get it going. All right, now we gotta wash this nasty chicken stuff, which I'm not looking forward to. Oh, she's a sizzling. If I stand in the right spot and block the wind with my body, we're perfect. Cleaning a chicken cutting board is not fun, even in like a kitchen. It's pretty awful. But, what do you do? Nice to have all that nastiness out of the way. Give me that frisbee, boy! Good boy, bring it over here.
pump that stove. You want lunch? Good boy. We got our chicken going, our onions going. We're just waiting for this to cook down a little bit and then we'll uh, scramble up an egg, throw our rice in, and we'll be well on our way. Oh yeah, baby. Good boy, Delbo. Put our uh, little pot lid on top. Create a little extra heat since we're fighting it. Oh, now she's going. We're gonna let that go just ripping hot for a minute. Get plenty of temperature in that chicken. I got a big weekend plan that I don't want food poisoning. Although with modern farming practices, I'm pretty sure you can cook chicken medium rare and you're just fine. On occasion, I've probably gone on the underside of the safe temperature for like a smoked chicken breast, something like that. You'll be fine. We're gonna let that get good and hot one more time and then we'll scramble our egg, which is conveniently in the bottom of the cooler. Oh, and there's bacon down there too. Oh, I'm gonna crush those. You helping me, buddy? Here, you want a piece of ice? <laughs> Don't drop it, it's gonna get all muddy. Oh, this is gonna end badly. Don't pack your eggs on the bottom. <laughs> there we go. Look out, buddy. One egg. Sit. Good boy. Okay. Just gonna crack that guy in the middle. Scramble her up and all that extra oil. Oh, it's gonna be good. Time to add a little rice. I did manage to pre-cook some rice. We're using uh, brown, because that's what I like. This is uh, one cup uncooked. I think it makes like three cups cooked. Throw that in. All right, turn our heat down a little. And this is just a pre-mixed fried rice seasoning. It's got all your usual suspects in it. Salt, garlic, powder, five spice, sesame oil. It's got some uh, soy powder, that kind of thing. All those umami flavors. Add a little more oil. What am I missing here? Anything? I'm just gonna stir to combine that. Break up the big lumps. Scrape that nice bond off the bottom. That's just caramelized flavor. We're gonna add little soy sauce if I can find it. Oh rip, there's my beautiful French press in pieces. The good stuff. Hey, sit. Sit. Down. Down. Stay. Good boy. Stay. What's going on fellas? Beautiful day out here. Good boy. Just about done. I'm gonna put a little more heat on this, but man, we did good. Mmm. I just realized we're heavily lacking in vegetables, but that's okay. Who needs them? It's our finished product there. Mmm-mmm. I'm gonna load up a healthy portion in my bowl here. Pack up the leftovers back in the cooler, break down the kitchen. I got nine minutes to get back to the meeting point. I'm not sure uh, what the consequences are. I think they just kill you and bury you out here. So we're gonna get a move on. Our time here today is pretty much done. It was
was a wonderful trip, great run, great trail to run on this morning. Uh, we made some really nice chicken fried rice. Couldn't be happier. So the GoPro died in that last clip. I was saying we just had a great time. Uh, big thank you to the Friends of Crossbar SRMA group that organizes that access day. The Crossbar is going to be a great recreational place for the, uh, the people in my area, outdoorsmen, uh, horseback riders, mountain bikers, and runners like myself. If you want to know more about them and their organization or the crossbar updates on the access road and campsites, you can visit them at opencrossbar.org. We've got the truck safely back in the shop behind me, and I'm going to go through and do some cleanup because I have another overnight trip planned for tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.